So in the video game community, there's this concept of speed running. The point is to complete a game or a level of a game as quickly as possible. It's a real deep YouTube rabbit hole that I was going down late last night. And it got me thinking, what if I could speed run Power BI? In particular, what if I could speed run building Power BI drop down navigation menus? And just like that, a challenge was born. I bet myself that I could create a drop down menu in the most recent report that I built for this YouTube channel in under five minutes. Now, I'm not going to lie and tell you that I think I'm going to produce a beautiful visual navigation experience in under five minutes, but I bet that I can make a functional one. So here's how it's going to go. I'm going to record myself implementing a navigation menu, and then I'm going to voice over it. While that's going on, I'm going to create a stopwatch on my phone, and it's going to be running in the background, and I will screen record it and have it running while I go through and I implement the navigation menu. If I could do it, great, challenge one. And if I can't, well, I guess I'm not as good at Power BI as I thought I was. So are you ready? Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that I need to do is I need to insert two buttons and then a page navigator. So the first button is going to essentially pop open the page navigator, and then the second button is going to serve to close the page navigator in the background, and then the page navigator is what is actually going to be doing the navigation. Um, the first thing I need to do with the page navigator is switch into vertical mode and then set the padding into zero picks, so that way the little bars stack on top of each other, and then I'll align it right under the button so that like the way it looks like it's dropping down for the button uh right here i was looking to add text to the button and i was kind of panicking because the time was getting to me um but oh i found it and i'm gonna set the text to something like show pages right so that would be my drop down so when people will click it they'll see then i have to turn off the border of this button because this button is going to be in between in the layers it's going to be in between the show pages button and the page navigator button that way if people click anywhere else other than the page navigator they'll show it here i'm creating two bookmarks one that will essentially have my page navigator and the hidden button turned on and visible and then the other bookmark which will be the bookmark that will pop open um, taking things from invisible to visible all right, so now we need to do some orders. So I have uh, the button that actually closes the menu and then the page navigator. And then I have the button that, uh, you know, doesn't close them, but I selected the wrong button here at first. Again, a little bit of a time panic. So I go ahead and group. And this would be the group of visuals that would show when the drop is visible. And then I would create uh, my button and my button will be essentially the visible the button that people will click when they want to see the drop down. Um, the next thing I'll need to go through and do is update my bookmarks so they only select the visuals that were selected. And as you can see by my hand movements, uh, the time was getting to me because I was like, oh no, like, what am I going to do? Um, you know, there's a few times right here where I'm kind of moving my mouse around trying to trying to go as quickly as possible. Okay, so here I am, I'm selecting the thing. So here's my group and that'll be my hide navigator button. And then when everything's visible, I have both selected, that will be my show navigator button. All right, so now kind of uh, with these available, I was kind of clicking over here and wondering why they weren't working, but here I am making some my one transparent button. I'll close the menu, goes fully across the dashboard and I was clicking them there, but they weren't working and I was like, ah. And then I was like, oh wait, okay, I gotta actually assign the actions to the button to go to the bookmark. So here I am turning on the action. The action's gonna be navigating to a bookmark and the bookmark when the one button is clicked is gonna be to hide the navigator and the bookmark when the other button is clicked is going to be to show the page navigator and the hidden button. And then just like that, right, I was clicking around and I was like, all right, did that work to close it? Yes, it did. And did that work to navigate and drop down? Yes, it did. So I was able to accomplish the challenge. It took me three minutes, 21 seconds, and 51 milliseconds, which I think is pretty good. Again, it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but this was a fun challenge. 
and that is how you create drop down menus in Power BI. So if you're interested in more content like this, please consider subscribing. If you're interested in doing a challenge of your own, let me know in the comments what that challenge might be. And if you're interested in learning a little bit more about me and what my background is, consider checking out my LinkedIn down in the video description. And with that, thanks for watching. I hope you have a good evening.